Sonia the frog to the point randomly lying within the square 0, 6, 0, 6 in the coordinate plane. Then we're given that she will hop to that point and to the random distance between 0 and 1 uniformly. We got a 6 by 6 square basically. All right, this is 0, 6, and then this is 0, and then 6. You randomly choose a point lying within the square, and then you randomly choose a distance between 0 and 1, the close interval, uniformly at random, and then you randomly choose your direction. And rest to find the probability that she will land outside the square. So the, the key thing here is that if you're in the center, there's no way you can possibly go outside. Sonia has to be near the edge. Only then, if you leave in a direction, can you go outside. So the, the, trick, the trick here is that we have four possible direction choices, north, south, east, west. So let's just take the first case. Let's say we have east, west, right? Let's say we pick a direction east, west. Well, the key thing is that if our direction we pick is east, west, then we only care about the x-coordinate. Because let's say we have a point here. It doesn't matter where the y-coordinate is. Because if you're not picking north or south, you're not, your y coordinate doesn't matter. You're still gonna, the, your y coordinate is still gonna be between zero and six. Only your x coordinate matters for whether you remain in the square or outside the square. If the direction is west or east, then we just consider this, this line from zero to six. And we only care about the x coordinate. So now the question is what's the probability for each of these coordinates that Sonia will escape? So at zero, first of all, what's the probability Sonia will escape? Well, if you have an x coordinate of zero and you're, you're picking a direction at random between north and south, or sorry, between west and east, if you picked west, then you're outside, and if you pick east, then you're inside, no matter what. So then the probability over here is just going to be half. Now let's take a look at the point let's say one half. If you're at, the, if you're at an x coordinate of one half, what's the probability Sonia will land outside? So you're at half here. In order to land outside on the left, you have to pick the direction west. You have to. And also the distance you pick has to be between half and one. Because if you pick less than half distance, you're still going to be here or somewhere around there. So you have to pick this point and you have to pick a distance. You have to pick west and you have to pick a distance that's between half and one. So half chance you pick west and half chance you pick one, a distance between one and half and one. So one fourth chance over here. And then all the way to one where, well, you're at one here, no matter how far you jump, you just barely, even if you jump here and you jump at zero, you jump west and you jump a distance of one, you're just gonna barely miss out on being outside. So a big fat zero there. And it's the, the cool part is that on the other side, it's the exact same thing, symmetry, right? Because instead of west this time, we have to go east. So at, let's, say, let's just say at five, or let's just say at six, we have a half probability of going east and the distance you choose doesn't matter. At 11 halves, we have a half probability of going east and the distance has to be between half and one. And here it's just zero, just like earlier. And the, the other thing is anything between one and five is also gonna be zero because there's no way if you're between one and five that no matter how far you jump in the other direction, you're never gonna escape the inside of the grid. So now it's just a matter of doing some geometric probability stuff, right? Let's just have, we have a, let's just draw a nice little, geometric probability thing. So this is zero, this is six, right? Over here, this is the maximum probability, right? Maximum is one, this is the probability. So the key thing overall over here, we have half probability. And then so on here, it's one fourth. And then at one, it goes to zero. So we have that. And then we have this. And then at, at, at five, it goes to zero. So the area of this triangle 
area of this triangle that represents the area of regions where sonia jumps out and this entire rectangle represents all possible like the total probability right if you think about it right because the probability is one here so basically we're trying to if you if you made if you took all this area and compressed it into a rectangle what would be the height of this rectangle that would be the probability the average probability over all these cases so what's the area of these two triangles well, that's pretty simple right half times one Half times one times half is the area of one of the triangles, and there's two of them. So all in all, the area of these two triangles is half. And then if you kind of compress it into this rectangle, which has a base of six, it will have a height of one twelfth. So on average, the probability is just one twelfth, and that is B. So the key trick here is noticing the symmetry between west, east, and then north and south. So the thing is, west, east, right, we only care about the x coordinate. And north-south is also going to be the same thing, right? It's, exact, it's the exact same situation, except now we look at the y-coordinate and we don't really care about the x-coordinate because we're not changing the x-coordinate by jumping north or south. So both of these cases have a 112 probability of happening. So because they're both equally likely to occur, you go west east and north-south with equal probability, our answer is just 112. So you notice the symmetry between the two coordinates. You just pick one of them to work with. Either is fine. And then you do this kind of geometric probability argument to find the average probability amongst all cases. I hope you found this video useful.